Hi, I'm Veronica Gagovich. I'm a gastroenterology fellow at the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health. I was asked by the organizers of DDW to talk to you about my poster presentation, which is entitled High Definition Colonoscopy Combined with Eye Scan Imaging Technology is Superior in the Detection of Adenomas and Advanced Lesions as Compared to High Definition Colonoscopy Alone. As we know, colorectal cancer screening with colonoscopy has a goal of early detection and treatment of premalignant and malignant lesions. A post-processing software filter by Pantex called iScan TM is designed to improve real-time in vivo detection rates of polyps. It works on software algorithms designed to improve the surface and contrast enhancement of white light, making mucosal lesions more distinct. The two pictures we see are eye scan photos we took during our study that show diminutive polyps in the colon. Next are our pictures of flat colon polyps we took while using eye scan technology. As such, the aim of our study was to compare high definition colonoscopy combined with eye scan to standard high definition colonoscopy in the ability to detect polyps, adenomas, and advanced lesions. Our study included a total of 1,964 patients. The data was prospectively collected. Colonoscopies were conducted by 12 academic gastroenterologists. The high definition colonoscopy group had 931 patients. Data was collected over a seven month period. In the iScan plus high definition colonoscopy group, the eye scan was turned on upon reaching the cecum and used on withdrawal from the colon. This group included 1,033 patients. The data was collected from January 2010 to July 2010. Recorded data included patient demographic information, colonoscopic withdrawal times, number of non-adenomatous polyps detected, number of adenomatous polyps detected, and number of advanced lesions detected. In our results table, we see that the mean age and gender distribution was similar in both groups. Average withdrawal times were more than six minutes in both groups. We also see in the table that using eye scan on withdrawal from the colon caused a statistically significant increase in the following. The percent of patients with adenomas detected which went from 27% to 33%. The number of adenomas detected per patient, which went from 0.45 to 0.59. The number of non-adenomatous polyps detected per patient, which went from 0.51 to 0.61. The number of advanced polyps detected per patient, which went from 0.061 to 0.095. This brings us to our conclusion, which is that the use of real-time specialized contrast-enhancing software filters increases overall polyp detection rates, adenoma detection rates, and increases the number of advanced lesions detected during screening colonoscopy.